three years now, we've been talking about the war. We've learned how to talk about our own past in terms of the war. We've learned to make our plans, taking the war into account. We have the words to express our anger. We have the words to express our grief. We have the words to express our contempt. We have curse words, words for prayer. We have all the necessary words to talk about ourselves during the war. It's very important for us to talk about ourselves during the war. We cannot stop talking about ourselves during the war. It's impossible to be quiet about ourselves. Every morning, we talk about the war. We stand in front of the mirror, talk about the war. We talk to the person we see. Wise words, wise convincing words, wise questions, wise answers. Every morning we remind everyone about the number killed. Every lunch we savor flashes of sunlight, the living grass pushing through dead rock. And in the evening we again remind everyone about the number killed. It's very important for us to remind everyone about the number killed. It is very important that we remind everyone about the number killed. It is very important that everyone hear about the number killed. We don't give anyone else the chance. We cut reality with garden shears, shears evaluate it, pronounce the diagnosis unfavorable. For three years, we've been evaluating for three years, we've been talking to the mirror. Where there's no chance of getting a difficult question, there's no chance of getting an awkward reply. The more confident talk about this out loud, the less confident quietly. Either way, it doesn't influence the number killed.